This is the second part of a tutorial on how to create a 2D animation using Blender. In this part I'll show you how to duplicate scenes and how to mix and match 2D and 3D objects. Click the Add New Scene button. For the new scene type select Full Copy. Name the new scene to Monkey Man. Click the Browse Scene button, select the original scene and name the original scene 1 Berlin Wall. I want the car to drive past a section of the Berlin Wall. I have a photograph I took of a section of the Berlin Wall and in a free graphics package called paint.net I've erased the background and I've saved in the PNG format which will preserve the transparent pixels. Add Mesh Plane. Drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window. Change the new window to a UV image editor window. Click open. Go to the folder where you have your image, select it and open, and zoom back with the mouse wheel. Click the plus to open up the properties panel, and we see the dimensions of the image. It's 563 pixels wide, so I'm going to set the X scale to 0.563, and it's 907 pixels tall, so I'm going to set the Y scale to 0.907. Now the aspect ratio of the plane is the same as the image. Go into edit mode, mesh, UV unwrap, unwrap. Now the image is mapped to the plane, but if I press F12 to render the scene, we see that we need to set up the material. Press escape, click the material button, click the add new material button, I should name the material. Scroll down and tick transparency and set the alpha to zero. Click the texture button. Click the add new texture button. Click both. Scroll down. Click the browse image button and select the Berlin image. Scroll down and make sure coordinates are UV and in the influence panel tick alpha. Now if I press F12 to render the scene, the image is rendered. Drag on the white diagonal lines to close the UV image editing window. Go into object mode and I'm going to move the image to the left and up a bit. Select the grass, which is a mesh plane object that I called hills. Go into edit mode. Now the top two vertices are already selected. Scroll down and click subdivide. Click subdivide. Click subdivide again and again until you have 16 plus 1 vertices. Click proportional editing. Select enable. Select a vertex. Press G to grab Y for the Y direction. Move the vertex up and use the mouse wheel to increase the region of proportional editing. Click and go back into object mode. I have finished the Berlin Wall scene. Next I'm going to work on the Monkey Man scene. We are making a 2D animation, but there's nothing to stop me appending in a 3D model. File Append, go to the folder where you have your model, select it, Append. The car is selected, so click the Monkey Man. I need to rotate him by minus 90 degrees about the x-axis, but I can do that by setting the x-rotation to 0. Press S to scale, point 0.2 and Enter, and move the Monkey Man up a bit and to the left a bit. At this point I'm going to drag with the middle mouse button 
to see what the scene looks like in 3D. I also want to talk about Z-order, which is the ordering of overlapping two-dimensional objects. It governs whether one object is in front of or behind another object. In a 3D package, we can use the Z location for the Z order. If I set the Z location of the monkey man to zero, he will be behind the car, which is a foreground object, and I've given positive Z values for foreground objects. But if it, the monkey man is in front of the background objects, which all have negative Z locations change the view back to the camera view. To render the scenes, choose the scene that you want to render. Click the render button. Scroll down and choose a video file format for the output. I usually choose XVID. And choose a folder to save the video file in. Scroll up and click the animation button. The video clips can then be put together with music and sounds using Blender's video editing tools or any other video editing package. The great thing about Blender is that by mixing and matching 2D animation, 3D animation and video, the creative possibilities are endless. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the files used in the tutorial and the finished file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.